you probably might want to pay attention to this, all right? Um, we know here in the United States that there's been some uh, security issues with uh, people taking weapons onto campuses. Um, they're having to do lockdowns. And uh, somebody came up with a solution to say, you know what, we might be able to tackle this. Security robots could be coming to a school near you. A number of U.S. schools are testing AI-equipped security robots designed to roam the campuses around the clock looking for unwanted visitors. School safety is an ongoing concern for staff and students and also the parents. And basically because of all these mass shootings, uh, they said this is one thing that we're not going to be worried about. We're going to find a way to curb this. Santa Fe High School in New Mexico. So we heard what happened in Texas uh, with the, the last mass shooting that we had. But New Mexico says, hey, we got one of the first to pilot a new autonomous robot uh, from Albuquerque-based Team First Technologies. This five foot, 400 pound robot moves along on wheels and uses a camera at the top of a mast to provide a 360 degree video to the school security team. Always on the lookout, they're using AI to learn the school's various characteristics with that includes the layout and the patterns of activity. So kids start coming into the school around six o'clock, teachers start rolling in at five, kids are outside at lunch, kids get out, go off to the bus, parents come in because the child is sick so they are understanding the patterns and when something happens, let's just say nobody should be coming in around 10 o'clock or 9.30, hey, this might be a red flag. So they're saying the robot can recognize aggressive or unusual behavior and move toward a perceived intruder, letting them know that they're being observed while buying time for security to respond. Now, my thing is, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just walk up to them and say, intruder, intruder? I mean, I, I don't know. But they're also saying, uh, while some may have concerns about privacy, the robot doesn't have any facial recognition capabilities. And for the current pilot program, um, they're saying that the high school is responsible for handling the captured footage and they decide how they're going to store it. So the pilot program is going to store the footage and however they want to, to, how long they want to store the footage, that's on them. So it could be seven days, it could be 30 days, it could be for a whole semester. We don't know. This is all on them, okay? They're also saying a teacher at the school, a teacher at the school told the journal that the robot is a seven camera dog and it could be useful for monitoring isolated parts of the campus that may not receive the attention from the other human members of the school security team. Now, my thing is, if you're doing security, you need to at least walk the grounds every blue moon. But we already know they in the back eating the donuts and trying to tell kids to go to class. But I mean, you should be over there in the back, all right? And go check those backwoods and over there in the baseball field and look in the dugout and, you know, all the places that when we were younger that we were doing what we were doing. So this might curb some of that activity if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Period. All right. They're saying that first team technologies has declined to charge the school for the trial. Uh, but normal rates for the robots are believed to be around $65,000 for a full school year. So, for them, it's like, hey, for Santa Fe High School, we're gonna give it to you for the first year. If this goes well, cool. And then their goal is probably to, uh, you you know, the goal is to sell it to the other schools and say, hey, school board pay $65,000. And then this could potentially cut out some jobs as opposed to having five or six resource officers. They may only have two. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. My question to you is your thoughts on the security robots. One, yes, it is cheaper and more efficient. Two, no, I'll wait till something go, wait till something go wrong and we'll see how this, how this handles or how it plays itself out. 
Um, three, um, who cares? Four, I need some to I need some time to prepare for this technology. Or five, this is great. The kids will be protected. One, two, three, four, five. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep it pushing. It's the Lab Tech Show. Join us Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern at thelabtechshow.com. Embrace it or get left behind. Oh.